are back for part two of this sledge run with the 46 tooth spur gear in it and a 22 tooth pinion gear so you guys know um, it did 67 miles per hour um, with the Traxxas stock speed controller but I went ahead and I put a max 6 speed controller in here but I kept everything else the same and as I mentioned before in the first video I'm beating the dead horse this does not come with droop screws so that's why my truck is a little bit lower than normal I had to add droop screws to it and it still doesn't it doesn't come I'm not gonna say it still does, it doesn't come with sway bars either but the truck did handle the speed when I ran it really well so it's probably gonna do a lot better once you get sway bars and stuff on it but anyway I just want to let you guys know about that I did put a max six speed controller in here um, you guys see my GPS is catching oh, I got it upside down I had it right the first time so it is nine miles per hour let's see if um we can beat that uh that 67 miles per hour get this on down here the truck is planted though look at that and I'm telling you guys, this isn't even set up really to run speed. I'm running some five or six year old tires. Uh, my stock tires actually, they blew. I mean, the, the, the sledgehammer tires, they just blew off and I wasn't too happy about that. But anyway, uh, let's see what we got here. Oh, we are on, we are not on miles per hour. So let me get this reset real quick and then we'll go back and get this set. All right, so I just reset that. That equals 67 miles per hour. We're gonna just go down one more time just to make sure. So we are still getting 67. I expect to get higher speeds probably with this max six in here. So it seems like regardless, we're still getting it, but I expect to get at least 80. I don't know why I got 76 before, but anyway. Here it comes. That's still cruising good for 4S only, guys. This is 4S only, remember? All right. Let's see if we beat that 67 miles per hour. And we did not. So let's go ahead and let's try a 6S and let's see if we get with 6S. All right, y'all. We got 6S in here. I'm hoping this hits 80. I mean, it, it should. Um, Get my steering. Rah! <laughs> How does that just get off? It's like my cars be playing tricks on me. All right, get this down here. Now, of course, this truck is capable of a lot more speed. I don't have it set up for a speed truggy yet. I probably will at some point. Oh, yeah. There we go. It actually kind of had a, a shutdown. I don't know if it's the radio kind of limiting it or not you guys saw that tsm kind of kicking in full effect there let's see what we got there now that's what i'm talking about speed wise i could actually see it i didn't get up to top speed yet but let's see what we got there yeah that's what we're talking about 79 miles per hour so i know this is an 80 mile per hour setup make sure i got this tsm kind of dialed down and Get my steering trim right. There we go. Let's try this one more time. I'll be happy if I hit 80. All right. Try to gradually build up to this. Hmm, I did have kind of a shutdown. I don't know why I got this Max 6 in here. You guys see that? shouldn't be shutting down with this. I shouldn't have to put a Max 5 up in here. And it was barely warm. So we'll try this one more time. Yeah. Now I don't know if the limiting factor is the radio, the receiver. The TSM or not, I did kind of, thought I dialed it down, but I'm about to turn it down all the way. But if we got 80, I will be happy. Still at 79. All right, we're gonna try this one more time. Um, I need to make sure this TSM is dialed all the way off. Okay. 
Don't do this at home. Don't do back-to-back -back runs. <laughs> it's not recommended. It's not good for the motor. I think I turned it all the way off. To the left, to the left is zeroed out. All right. All right, let's try this one more time. Did a little bit better there. Still kind of having that. Okay, it's doing a lot better with the TSM turned off. I probably shouldn't come down again because I think it's gonna overheat and it just did. Like I said, don't do what I did. Don't do back to back to back runs like that. That is not a good thing. So let me go down here and let's see what we got real quick. All right, y'all, let's see what we got here. So I think before we look at the final speed, I think it's doing fine for some three to four year old tires and no sway bar on here. I think that if you're gonna make this a speed truggy, and I think I'll be happy. Yep, I am happy. We got our 80 miles per hour, so that is good. Um, so with it set up, like I said, I did put the droop screws in here. You guys can see that probably somewhere the sun's kind of flashing over there, glaring it out. But you guys see, I did lower this down some, and that's how I lowered it there. I may do a video. Those are actually some armor screws I put up in there. I had a set um, at home, so I went ahead and put those in there. And then of course, look at these tires. So these are, of course, not speed tires um, for this. And then I actually did a lazy man's way of putting this speed controller in because it still has the stock speed controller. I'm not in here too, so I was just trying to get this out and run this. But I'm more impressed with the 80 miles per hour. I don't know if the stock speed controller is limiting, well, it probably is limiting the power on it, but there could be things with that. But this is capable of a lot more. So I probably will at some point in time change that motor out, change the radio out, because I don't know if this is also limiting um the power of this vehicle but so far it's been it's been good i mean other than a couple of things like no droop screws and i know i'm beating a dead horse but i'm gonna say it again and no sway bars which i think you should get for the price and then also no bluetooth module in here but um it's still performing good i still have yet to bash this truck so i'll be uh taking it to um off-road courses dirt piles and the bmx track and the skate park uh, excuse me and all that stuff, but there's not a lot of parts available for this right now That's why I haven't done a lot of that yet and I don't want to start breaking stuff and then not be able to find parts and then um, The truck is going to be down for a while you can can't you can get a few parts off of Traxxas's site um, I'll probably order another set of a arms and a couple of things I've been seeing people break um, And then take it out and do some bashing so I wanted to get these kind of speed tests out the way uh, and then do some bashing and then go back and then um, see how fast I can actually get this to run and then I'm going to do some comparisons videos between this the Creighton 6s not the EXB because it's not a fair comparison of comparing this to the EXB and then also one of the team Corrali trucks to probably the Kronos but not the XTR Kronos because those are unfair comparisons for this vehicle to compare to their top of the line cars this isn't their top of the line vehicle but I may just do a video talking about that and you guys will see that coming up soon and you'll probably be surprised some of the stuff I got to say about the differences between this car and the other two cars whether it's going to be probably the Creighton and then also the Kronos too. But we'll talk about that when we get to that video. So anyway, guys, put your comments down below what you think about this. It has potential to be a speed truck because it handled it really, really well. I was very impressed of the way it did handle the power um, going straight down, especially with these tires. <laughs> and I, I did put uh, 250K in the center because it was dry. So I did have to do some things to it. I didn't check the front and rear dip, but I'll do that in just a minute. I know I'm kind of rallying on about stuff, but I'm talking about this car because I want to let you guys know what um, I've done to it so far and kind of my thoughts on it, but you'll see that coming up in some upcoming videos. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching. And I hope you guys stayed on to the end. Look at that. So that might have been why um, I was probably having issues. It might have been kind of a fail safe. I can't remember if they have anything like that for Traxxas, but the batteries in the radio is actually low. So, um, but still 80 miles per hour and this kind of is dead right now. But uh, like I said, I just want to show this to you guys. So. All right, yeah, we're gonna try it again. Uh, I probably shouldn't, but it's still at 80 miles per hour. I got new batteries in the radio. Um, it did cool down for a quick second, so I don't know how this is gonna go. <laughs> yeah, no, it's kind of funny, but uh, it ain't gonna be funny. Got some people back here, so let's see what this does. Yeah. 
it still had a shutdown, but at least we got it up there to speed, to top speed, just about. Let's try this one more time going down. Yeah, it's getting up there. Let me bring this on back down. I don't know if we beat that 80 miles per hour, but. I think it's being limited by the, um, by something in the electronics, but not the speed controller. So yeah, we're still 80. So 80 miles per hour is what I got here. 22, two pinion gear, 46, two spur gear. Um, and I know it's got a lot more in it. So we'll get this back out and test it at some point in time for some real speed because I want to hit this to 100 miles per hour. But you guys stay tuned for more videos.